Hi, welcome to Stillflex. Stillflex is Cheeky Peak's brand new offering. Uh, Stillflex is a triclover still with endless flexibility. Uh, in the upcoming videos you're about to see, we're going to take you through a few of the different Stillflex designs and how you can add on all these movable components. Uh, we'll show you through a few of these sight glasses, uh, the gin caddies, parrot assemblies. We're going to show you how easy and simple it is, depending on where you are in your Stillflex journey, how you can add these into your own Stillflex still. So we can't wait to see you inside and we can't wait for you to start your own still flex journey. How are you going? Welcome to one of our advanced builds in the still flex range. Uh, as you can see, video uh, purposes only, we've got this displayed in a copper, uh, but you've got the flexibility if you want it in stainless or copper. Uh, the other major thing to point out is the, the copper lid down the bottom. Uh, so all the dome lids are sold separately outside of the packages. Uh, so you can find that in a separate uh, product listing. Uh, but what I'll quickly do now is take you through a few of the features of this uh, advanced steel fleck build uh, to see what you're going to get. Uh, so as you can see, starting from the bottom, uh, you've got a four inch uh, sight glass down here. Uh, so the purpose of the four inch sight glass is, is that you don't want any sort of boiling, uh, foaming and stuff happening during your boiling process. Uh, so that just allows you to visually uh, uh, spot that uh, during the process and you can adjust your boil rates accordingly. Um, so from this four inch sight glass, you'll go into a uh, reducer, so four inch to two inch reducer, and that's gonna go into a packing section. Uh, so in this packing section here, uh, you've got some little beaded seals with the stainless steel mesh. Um, so that's gonna stop any packing media going up through into your reflux condenser. Uh, then we'll move into our reflux condenser up here. Uh, so this particular advanced uh, setup uh, comes with two, so you've got your reflux uh, condenser up here. So what that's going to allow you to do uh, is to, depending on your ABV final product coming out, you can adjust and have a bit more finer control over the, uh, the final product of the ABV coming out. Uh, so you'll have some uh, tubing setup set up here with some uh, water flow regulators. So this is where uh, you're going to be able to adjust that for your fire control of that ABV product coming out. Uh, so when we move up through here into our uh, link piece, uh, you've got your link piece up here, uh, thermometer up the top, the dial thermometer, and then that's going to move down into a reducer. So you're going from two inch up here, reducing down to a one inch elbow, and that's moving into uh, the gin caddy uh, that comes with this particular package here. Uh, so this is our ultimate gin caddy uh, thumper kit. Uh, so one of the most flexible uh, gin caddies out there. It's going to allow you to do all your spiced whiskies and rums, uh, vodkas, gins, uh, other uh, botanical based uh, spirits. Uh, so that's what that's going to do. You've got your ball valve down here. Uh, that gives you, allows you any moisture build up. You can sort of dump that during your process. Uh, so from this point through our gin caddy, uh, we move across into this uh, straight piece T section, into our elbow, and then to our product condenser. Uh, so you got your product condenser here, one and a half inch product condenser. Uh, you have all your tubing set up that comes with these packages coming off here. Uh, I haven't actually displayed it here just for logistical purposes, but at the bottom of this product condenser, you're gonna have your parrot assembly. Uh, so the advantage of this parrot assembly is as you can see here, you're gonna get quick little uh, on the fly readings of your ABV with your alco meter in here. Uh, you've got your product uh, that you can collection point out here. And then also uh, you've got your dump valve uh, down here that you can uh, dump any uh, four shots at the start of your process. I uh, didn't quite mention before, but you've got your surge breaker uh, that's connected directly from your product condenser. Uh, so when you have your still set up, so this parrot assembly, it's gonna go Simply with these one and a half inch uh, clamps and beaded seals, that's going to go directly on the bottom of this product condenser here. So it's also worth noting um, in these particular advanced stills, there's a lot of weight on here. So you've got your four inch sight glasses, uh, this particular one with particular one with copper. So there's a lot of weight there too. You got your gin caddy and your parrot setup. Uh, so these are more designed for your strong boilers. So your uh, your milk can 60 litre bo boilers or your nano brewery pots from 70 litres and above. Uh, I wouldn't be going down and putting these on any cheaper sort of boilers in the market. They just wouldn't be able to handle that sort of weight. 
Okay, so what I've done now, um, I've just broken down this, uh, this still that we just talked about previously, uh, just to give you a little bit of a demo uh, of the main pieces and how you build this up into what you just saw before. Um, so what we've already got constructed here, uh, we've got your dome lid. So on top of your dome lid, you've got that uh, four inch uh, sight glass there. So on top of this four inch sight glass, uh, you've got your reducer with your clamp. So that reduces down into a two inch. Uh, so this is where we're gonna add one of our stainless steel beaded seals. It's got the mesh there. You're gonna add that straight on top of that reducer. Uh, so then on top of that reducer, you're gonna have your straight piece here. So you got your straight piece, your packing section. You're gonna add directly on top here. On top of that uh, straight piece is where you've got your uh, reflux condenser as well. So your reflux condenser up here. On top of that reflux condenser, you're gonna grab your other, your mesh seal here, your beaded seal. And that's gonna go directly on top up here. So you don't want any uh, packing media falling uh, out of this sort of section here. So that's the purpose of these uh, mesh seals. So now, top of that, got our linking piece. So got this L piece here, got the dial thermometer on top. It's got this reducer, so this L piece is two inch. So it's reducing down from two inch to one and a half inch. And on uh, off that one and a half inch fitting there, uh, you've got this elbow, uh, one and a half inch, 90 degree elbow. So we'll chuck that straight on top. So from this point, this is where we want to add, you've got your gin caddy set up here. This is where your gin caddy is going to go on to. So you've got your one and a half inch fitting there. One and a half inch fitting up here. Got your beaded seal straight on, straight on top there. Then we're gonna add this onto the elbow. So now what you see we've got the setup, you've got your dome lid, you've got your four inch sight glass here, reducing down to two inch for your packing section and your Reflux condenser moves up into this L piece, uh, reduces back down to one and a half inch with this elbow, and then connected on is your uh, gin caddy uh, thumper kit there. So from this point, I'm gonna be adding on our straight piece here, still two inch. And that's gonna reduce down to, again, one and a half inch, and then onto our product condenser here. Now we've got our surge breaker here. So your surge breaker here is gonna go onto the bottom of this product condenser. One and a half inch clamp and seal. Now the final piece of the puzzle is our, our parrot assembly. I won't show for video purposes, just because the logistics of the table here, but you've got your one and a half inch uh, triclover fitting here. So we've got our one and a half inch beaded seal and clamp, and that's gonna directly go straight onto the bottom here. So there's how you can uh, piece together this more advanced still. Um, as I said, copper lids, uh, video purposes, we can do this all in stainless steel. Uh, and also these uh, dome lids are sold separately, so you'll find them in a different product listing.